hello everyone welcome back to my channel so today we are going to be doing sculpt the nails and look at how beautiful these new nail forms are we already have nail forms on the website but i decided to add this other style as many of you guys may know or maybe you don't because you don't really do nail forms like me i didn't know that not all nail beds fit on nail forms these have more of a rounded um well type of thing i don't know what it's called but i'm just showing you right here the length of the nail form compared to my nail i believe i did my nail up to number 10 so girl you could do some long as motherfucking nails and i am not a professional at nail forms so do not judge me if i'm doing it wrong a girl is just trying to do a damn nail but you can see how easy it is to apply the nail form it didn't take me too long to get it on there the one thing that i do not like about nail forms though is that it's kind of hard for me to fix my crooked ass finger like i don't know about you or maybe because i'm inexperienced like literally it looks like it's gonna go straight like, I even tried to put the little line um, down the middle of my finger, like, to straighten it out because it's crooked. But at the end, my fucking nail is still crooked. Like, it's going the same way as my finger, which I kind of did not like that. So, let me know in the comments. If you do nail forms, is it inevitable to put it crooked on purpose? Like... If I wanted this nail to be more to the left, is that possible? Or is it just going to look crooked, period? So, normally with nail tips, I just apply my nail tip a little crooked on purpose so that it looks a little bit more straight for me. But other than that, it was not that hard. I'm going to be applying um, the acrylic two different ways to see what I feel works best for me. Um... So right here, I am just applying it at the center first, and I'm working it down, and I'm using Cover Salmon. I did speed this up because, girl, let me tell you, it took me a long time. It took me like five minutes to do one motherfucking nail. I was like, that is not the business. Maybe in the future, damn girl, you're going a little fast. <laughs> Maybe in the next nail, I'll slow it down a little bit. But what do you guys prefer? Nail forms or nail tips? I find that the nail forms just take me extra long to like do the acrylic application. But no matter what, a bitch is slow. So no matter what I do, nail form or um, nail tip, I just take a long time doing it. So I do apologize right now. My... I was not up in that camera. So right here, I realized like, oh, I need a little bit more to the sides. So I'm still learning to kind of know how thick I need to do the nails. Because I was going for a square nail. But I did pinch the form a lot, I feel. So the curve is like super, super snatched. And um, normally... I would do stilettos in nail forms like when I would do it on myself. So I think that's the easiest. I feel like a coffin or square is a little bit more tricky for me. Because I I was going for like a super pinched look. So I'm just going to finish the whole nail. And this acrylic does dry fast. So that's why it looks like I'm going a little faster than, faster than fast. Because I sped it up. But I was working a little bit fast slash slow because i'm a slow poke but the acrylic does dry a little bit faster so i had to hurry up i mean i came out with a pretty smooth application can't complain but i did go a little bit at a time i just need to practice this a little bit more and i feel like i got it i got it girl it wasn't that hard but it did take a while so right here after my acrylic is on the drier side, I kind of pinched it with my with my fingers back in a day, like 10 years ago or so. 
um my teacher in cosmetology i think it's been 10 years i don't know they used to pinch with their fingers i don't think they had a pinch tool yet and if they did i had never seen it in my life but they used to pinch with their thumbs so i was like mm, i'm gonna do that so right here for my ring finger i am going to start at the tip to see if maybe this is easier for the like shaping or whatever I don't know. I wanted to see what was easier to do the shape. And to be honest, I don't know what was easier. It was both a pain in my ass for me. But don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys are new here. Um, Leave me a little like and a little comment. When you do nail forms and if you do nail forms, do you start like the middle finger or the ring finger? Or do you do like something else? Because um, when I was in manicure school, they taught us to do with nail forms. But just like the basic shit, like a little ass fucking nail. I used to struggle as fuck with nail forms and with nail tips, just with everything I used to struggle with. And ever since I started doing nails, um, like professionally, I did it with nail tips. So I never really done forms on my clients because i don't know i just felt like it was it was hard so right here you can see that i squished it with my fingers and it looks like i gave my finger a little lipo so that's the one thing that you want to do with nail forms pinch the nails so what the pinching does it, it slims it a little bit more making it look slimmer um and then also when you pinch nails or you have a, like a C, a C curve, it strengthens the nail. So even if it's thin, that curve, that curvature, whatever the fuck, is going to give it strength. So right here you can see how fucking deep that shit is. It's like, girl, girl, that shit is a deep C curve. Um... I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to work with this or not, but I was like, okay, delay. this is just a little sample. And again, I, I forgot to mention that I applied my um, peel off base coat to my natural nails. So I'm going to be able to take these off. I know some of you guys are like mad at me because you're like, Zule, you did your fucking nails and you didn't go live. What the fuck? Because <laughs> I already read my comments on Instagram, but it's like, sorry, girlfriend. This was like uh, supposed to be a little quickie and I'm, I need to try different, different, um, what is it called? Like quality. I feel like when I record directly, shit, what the fuck is wrong with my video? Hold on. Okay, girl. I had to zoom out a little bit because I could not see what the fuck I was fighting. I was like, okay, girl, like, did I not fucking record shit? So... What was I saying? Oh, yeah. I went on Instagram and I posted my nails and everybody's like, Zule, did I miss the live? And I'm like, girl, no, there was no fucking live because I wanted to see if the obviously I know that when I record directly, the video quality is way nicer than when I go live and I save the videos and put them on YouTube. Like, I already know that. We already know that. Like I mentioned it on my live last time. Like, do you guys rather me save the video, go live, or just record and upload? And most of you guys said, it doesn't matter what we get as long as we get to hang out with you. So they didn't care. If so I was like, all right, well, I'll do a little bit of both. But I, I know some of y'all here on YouTube are like, girl, your quality sucks like get a fucking new camera get a better camera but it's not the camera it's i don't know what the fuck happens like when i'm on live on instagram the quality is pretty good but once i download it it's like valio pura verga so i was like all right i'm gonna do a little bit of both um because sometimes i don't have time to go live like um i have things to do during the day and I wish I could go live every single day with you guys, but I just cannot. So, I was like, I'm just going to record this really quickly. And how to call it, I had already done my 
thumbnail a couple of days ago. So I was like, I'm just going to do three nails and then paint them and give it a little makeover and shit. So here is a little bit of my filing. Um, I do have a full video on how to file a C-curve nail. If you guys struggle filing C-curve nails or nail tips or whatever. Um, I did record that a couple months ago. Um, because a lot of y'all were asking like, Oh, Zuley, can you show us how to file C-curve? Because I struggle. And it's super easy. Once you get the hang of it, it is a piece of cake. So right here, I am just using my extra fine bit to remove any scratches and to seal in the cuticle area. Um, this, this bit is pretty smooth. So if you're scared to file cuticles, this is the one for you. After I have already shaped and filed and buffed and all that good stuff, I even washed my hands. I'm going to use my gel polish number two. It is a jelly jelly gel polish but when you put it over a solid color like a nude it doesn't look transparent anymore so i'm gonna go ahead and outline my nails so that i could do like a v french and i'm not very good at um doing french or v french or any little little line but this these liner brushes do help so y'all going to be like, oh my God, it looks so easy. You make it look easy. But let me tell you, girl, I be struggling. I rather do a V French any day before I do a regular French. Because that should be be making me shake like a little leaf. Like, mm -mm, girl, I cannot fucking draw. But I still try. Like a lot of people be like, Oh my god or i feel like they assume like oh you need to be a professional because you've been doing nails for like forever but it's like girl i'm not good at everything so if you guys suck at something it's okay girl just fucking practice like i suck at painting anything even a little stick figure i struggle at painting that shit but i still fucking practice aunque salga bien feo i still try pero pues Que no me lo pidan because, girl, like when my clients ask me for French, I'm like, Lord, why the fuck did you ask me for that? Like, ¿por qué no me piden un B French o un pinche hombre? Like, eso sí lo puedo hacer bien. But let me tell you, years ago, when all of that was new, I used to hate doing hombres because I didn't know how to do them. But the more you do it, the better and easier it gets. So after I'm done with the V French without curing the gel, do not cure yet, I'm going to be adding this glitter. So I didn't record the, um, what finger is that? The ring finger? Because it was just like a diagonal line, kind of like if I was doing half of V French. And then I'm just sprinkling on this glitter, which is Lujosa. It is one of my favorite sugar glitters. And I decided to use this one because... I already used the orange sugar last time. So I was like, mm, let me make it look a little different. So I'm going to apply this to uh, my ring finger and my middle finger. And right after, you're going to cure it in the lamp for one whole minute. And I had already done my thumb a couple days ago. But I went ahead and added some more. So once that is fully dry, look at how beautiful that looks. I'm going to be adding some foil gel. And we do have a new label for our foil gel. So if you do happen to recognize it like, the fuck, I have your foil gel. Is this one new? No, it's not new. The label is just new, but everything else is the same. Like the formula is the same. The only thing that's different is the... The label because we have a lot of black bottles so we wanted to be able to tell the difference on what the hell is the glue the velvet mat and the foil gel so after i cured the foil gel in the lamp for a whole minute i ended up cutting the little butterflies out and you need to make sure to rub that shit really good because if you guys ever struggle with foils like it does not get stuck or whatever it could be 
a few different reasons. It could be that your foil gel did not cure fully. It could be that you didn't rub it well, like you think you did, but you didn't. Or you over cured your gel. And who the fuck else? What else it could be? But those could be the three top reasons. So right here, you're going to see that shit, it looks like I'm rubbing pretty good, but I missed a little tiny piece. And when I peel it off, you'll see. Look, 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 right here, that little wing. Oh my God, oh my God. So you just put it back on top. No biggie. Just do not fucking touch it with your finger. It happens, but you could fix it, girl. Look at boom. Rub that little bitch real good. Put a little pressure. And voila, honey. It's like nothing ever happened. And look at this one. Look at this one. Look at this one. Since I realized I didn't rub the other one really good, I'm like, okay, let me rub this one. And girl, the same thing. I'm missing a tiny piece. I think this one, I was missing the little wing. Oh, fuck. Le moche la pincha wing. Don't worry, girl. Don't worry. We could fix it. We could fix it. As long as you do not touch the nail with your finger or whatever, it will still stick. Okay? So, ponle la pincha wing. Aunque quede chueca la verga or something. Put it back. And boom. Fixed. Okay, girl. Yes, and then two, another thing is if your foil is not the best quality, some foils will just not stick in full. Like I've tried different foils, and some of them they just a pain in the ass. So for the thumb, I'm like, you know what, girl, I'm gonna rub the shit out of this fucking foil. So don't be a lazy bitch and just half ass these foils. That's the reason why they're not sticking, girl, because you're not rubbing it good. It's like rub it so good, like you're giving it a massage, like a deep tissue massage. And I promise you, they're going to stick really well. So this one, it was like perfect. It's like a little tattoo. Look at it. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Shoot. Oh, no. I'm just kidding. I forgot to rub a little piece. But... Once, how to call it, um, I remove it and rub it again. It's like nothing ever happened. It's like perfect. Like, voila. So, no te confies. Tu practica con el foil. And the more you do it again, the easier it's going to get to apply it and rub it and all of that. I think we just um overthink it sometimes. So, because I had put this glitter top coat. It's called Sparkle Top Coat. On my thumbnail, I was like, hmm, let's put it on the other one so it's kind of like matchy, matchy. And if you guys see that my nails look hella crusty or whatever, it's it's because um I have the rubber base gel underneath. I mean, not the rubber base gel, the peel off base coat. And I go, I make a hot bass with that shit. So again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave me a little like and a thumbs up. Oh, no, wait. That's the same shit. <laughs> a little comment and a thumbs up. And then we're going to move on to the bling bling. I decided to keep it kind of simple for this design because, again, I'm going to be taking them off in the next few days because I need to do me. I forgot what color you guys said you wanted to see. I think like purple or something like that or blue. So, that's what I'm going to be doing soon. And I think I'll go live. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what type of video you guys are on YouTube. What type of video do you prefer? Do you want me to record it? Because you get to see it a little bit more clear. Or you're like, fuck it, girl. I want you to go live because I prefer the lives. And the interaction and the and the everything above. Or what? So I'm just adding a little bit more bling. And I'm not sure if this camera is doing it justice or not. But this glitter is... Oh my god. Fire, girl. Fire. So I'm just going to let you guys finish watching the little bling bling. Very simple. I'm using the bling adhesive. And then I'm going to spray with activator. And since I've put top coat already, we will be done after the bling. So thank you everybody for watching this little video. 
I'll see you guys next time. Bye.